ladies and gentlemen, Chen, Barty, beautiful host extraordinaire of Six Shot TV. So handsome, so there. You know how I do here on Six Shot TV, giving you the latest and greatest music news, entertainment, sports, politics, whatever is important to me. Because I'm a host, Barty. We're going to start something off this week that is very, very important to me. Many of you out there, maybe you haven't seen this yet, should have come across the clips of Plaza's new reality show. I don't know if somebody's picked it up yet or not, I'm not sure. But it's going to be called Bust It Baby. He says this a lot in his lyrics. And I'm not really, really sure what it means. But by looking at the trailer, it seems like it's going to be a little bit of Flavor of Love meets BT Uncut. And that was the premise I think he was going for with Bust It Baby. But after seeing the one clip that I saw, and the one clip meaning you have seen this playing behind me, I don't see Flavor Love me BT Uncut. I'm seeing more like the girls from Cheetahs mixed with like the dirtiest job from TLC. And that's not really, I'm, I'm assuming, what he is going for. So I would like to take some time out to speak to Plies and whoever is behind this show. You, my friends, poor for all of you, are on the right direction. You're on the right path. BT Uncut meets Flavor of Love is where you should be headed. But it seems like you retarded this to the direction of the girls from Cheetahs. And that's not what you want to do. You want fine, beautiful women acting a fool, showing their ass crack. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for thongs. And you got the thong part right. But it's what the thongs were attached to which was wrong. I mean, you, you the premise is straight. It is a solid premise. Half naked women doing whatever busted babies do in front of the camera. That's good. But the quality isn't there. If the quality isn't there, my friends, you have really, really left something that could be beautiful and could change the world slide through your fingers. And I'm not going to allow that to happen. So I want you to listen. You are on the right path. But if you could just turn it up a notch, maybe leave whatever city that was, because that was ridiculous. Maybe you're holding back. I'm not sure. But I'm a little nervous, and I know you can have something special if you focus. Whatever busted baby means, whatever. Well, I don't know. I'm not from Florida. Listen, sexy women, BT Uncut meets Flavor of Love. The girls that looked like they was on Cheetahs last week, we don't need to see them. Just focus. And you can have something dynamite. Dynamite. Also, something I want to, I'm going to talk about this later. I just want to give a shout out to the young lady at the Flow Rider concert, checking her whole ass and bashing her mom and everybody, her friends at church. That's fine. I'm gonna get into this later. I just wanna let you know that I have my eyes on y'all. I've been seeing a lot of videos, y'all acting crazy on stage. Summertime's coming, got spring break coming. We will speak on this at a more appropriate time, but just let y'all know, you little dumbass girls, I, I got my eyes on. I got my eyes on. I was very, very sad this week that on Flavor Love, they got rid of the sexiest girl to me, which was Raina. And I don't understand, this is the first year they didn't drop somebody really sexy. Are you really trying to fall in love? She's good looking. Did you see in Smooth Magazine? Y'all might not. Ew, she, oh, man. Listen here, Raina. If you are looking for love for the night, holla at your boy. I don't know your money situation, so I don't think we can have a prolonged future together. Is this not who I am as the president of the 6969 Fusil Union? But if you are looking for some naked time in the evening, once, holla at your boy. You cool. And after Flavor Love, I just realized something. And I totally forgot this. My crush on Pepper that I had since like 92, it's still there. I still love her. And I would still love to spend time with her. She, she does it for me. And listen, she every time I see her, I feel like I'm 12. And, and ever, that's a, that was a good time. 92 was a good year for me. I feel, I feel every time I see her. So Pepper, you know, hey, I don't know who you with now. The episodes where your hair looks crazy, I'm not talking about the episodes, I'm talking about the episodes where your hair looks good. You and me, we can do something special. You know somebody who surprised me this week? Who I was really surprised I liked that song? A shiny. I, I can't lie, I can't like it. I like that song. It's catchy. I know a lot of people like, she sucks, whatever. It's a nice catchy song. And if they keep playing it, it will be a hit. And if it's, oh, oh, this 
I doubt you was living. You be like, okay, in the car, all right, this ain't so bad. That's how I just, that's a good first single for you. Very proud of you, man. You know I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for the other dog. You definitely understand I'm rooting for you. You know what else I like? Jordan Sparks. I really think that her and me could do some special things together with her money. I think I can help her get some money and spend some little time with her because she's very attractive, very sexy to me. First thing I would do with you, Jordan, just to let you know I have plans for you. First thing I would do to really get your money from here up to there, take you to go see Chauncey Black so you work with them R&B hand motions you got. Your R&B army hand motions ain't crisp like you need. Like you really a solid chick, so you ain't gonna be doing too much dancing around. I mean, you're not gonna do no Sierra, you're not gonna do no Janet Jackson. I doubt you even do Mary J, Ashani, or Whitney Houston dancing. It's gonna be you and the mic. So that means your R&B hand motions got to be crisp. And now I take you to Chauncey Black, I mean, we can crisp with no air, eh, oh, no air. Chauncey would teach that to you. I mean, there's a, a few of the things. I was thinking about when I saw the video about how we can get you some more money. Consider me. Just give me a little chance. All I'm asking for, a little nigga time and a little bit of a chance. For the people who keep emailing me wondering if Rihanna and Chris Brown are together, yeah, they're together. So what? There's no jokes there. They're having fun. They're both damn rich. They're young. Whatever. Uh, I'm very, very concerned about uh, a brother by the name of Clyde Campbell. He is a Brooklyn activist, and I don't know what a Brooklyn activist is. Now, he, does he, is he only concerned with the things that happen in Brooklyn? I'm not sure. But Clive and his group called, and get this, he called the Black Defense League. D-A, like duh. It's suing Jay-Z, Bruce Ratner, Jay-Z's partner in the New Jersey Nets, and the bank, the Barclay Banks, whoever, that paid $400 million to build the new stadium in Brooklyn for the New Jersey Nets when they moved about three or four years from now. Whatever, whatever. He's suing for $5 billion because he says the bank made money off of slavery, yada, 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 yada. Whatever. Let me tell you this. If one day we can actually get us some money based off what people did to our ancestors, that would be great. But brother Clive, you are ruining that for us because you are an idiot and do not have the funds to see it through. Okay, if you did have the funds, I would support you and getting everybody some money. But you're not gonna win and also are ruining the opportunities for us to get some monies in the future. Sit down and if you're gonna sue somebody, the organization can't start with the word duh. They're not gonna pay you no mind and you are ruining future monies for all of us. And this rumor about a Jay-Z Nas album, I could care less. Out of Def Jam, after Mariah Carey's album is done, out in the stores, all your focus needs to be on the roots coming out April 29th, rising down. I don't care about no collab albums or whatever. Y'all trying to just see if you're interested in, I'm not interested. Roots album, April 29th, rising down, all that joint out, whatever. And finally, we want to send our condolences to the family and friends of Static Major Producer, used to be a player with Timbaland and Lee and them. Passed away at the age of 32. Definitely want to send condolences to his family and friends. And most importantly, please, 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 I want to have everyone's help in making the song called You Ugly from Peach Candy the number one song of 2008. Please call your radio station, call your VJs, MTV, BT. We need to make that song. Go listen to it. I'm not going to even tell you what it's about. Make that song the song of 2008. If you can do that for me, I would be greatly appreciated because your ass is ugly. You should have told him to tag the better picture of you. That's why I don't hesitate to let you know that ain't about you.